Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerviews.com tonight from Terrapin Brewing Company out of Georgia. This is their Moo Hoo Chocolate Milk Stout. Um, this used to come in bottles. Uh, this came in a six pack of cans, um, which is the new trend as we see. Um, they always have some sort of turtle on there with the old Terrapin uh, theme going on. It always says more cowbell at the top. Um, this is a seasonal session limited release if you look on the website. Um, so they proudly use cocoa nips from Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company um, to give this beer its chocolatey great taste. Um, they have a little bit of an advertisement logo on there. Um, enjoy it till the cows come home, hence the cowbell, also utilized in some cycling events. So again, it's uh, dark brown, black in color, aromas of dark chocolate, roasted malts uh, with a hint of caramel and chocolate. Uh, rounded out sweetness with a creamy finish. Um, 6% ABVs, IBUs of 30, which they should be. You've got Nugget and Willamette Hops in here. Um, again, it's it's a seasonal. Um, I believe it launched in it's either November or December. Um, it's now, what are we in now? We're in uh, March now. Let's see. Um, it's kind of hard to read. Can't tell you when it was brewed. Um, because it is smudged. So let's get it into the glass, see what it looks like, see what it smells like, and always see what it tastes like. So again, as you pour it in a glass, it's exactly what it should look like. It's black, um, nice brown head on it. Um, definitely has a little bit of a, kind of a porter consistency. Um, it's not super thick, um, but the head's got a really nice kind of caramelized color to it. Um, wow. Immediately hits coffee, chocolate. Um, you can actually smell a little bit of a hot background to it. Um, cocoa, cocoa-ish on the chocolate. Um, milk, chocolatey, like chocolate milk, kind of coming out. Um, the coffee is, is fresh. Um, they balance each other. I would say it's more chocolatey than it is um, on the coffee side. That's about it. That's all you got. A little bit of malt in the background, a little breadiness, but. It's exactly what it should be. It's a dark colored um, chocolate milk stout with a little bit of coffee behind it. So as we always say, cheers. Let's get into the glass. That's good. Holy moly. That is really good. It's smooth. So the milk creaminess is on time. It's got a nice velvety mouthfeel to it. Um, a little bit more coffee in the in the uh, flavor than in the aroma, but it, again, it's coffee, chocolate, great balance. Um, it's got a nice little bit of a um, you know silky coating. Uh, finishes nice, <clears throat> excuse me, nice and smooth. Um, it's super easy to drink. I mean, there's six percent ABV, so you could get away with a few of these <clears throat> and not ruin your uh, night or the next day. But man, these are delicious this would be a phenomenal way to end a good meal as a dessert beer um, it's just got a lot a lot of really good sweetness characteristics to it but kind of kicks into that coffee uh, backbone as well so we rate our beers from one and five I would give this a four and a half for what it is this is one of the best in class for a chocolate milk not chocolate milk excuse me <clears throat> for a chocolate coffee uh, flavored beer. <clears throat> this one is on point. Phenomenal, phenomenal uh, collection here that they've put together. So it's a limited release. If you tried it, grab it off the shelf. I think the six pack was like fourteen dollars. It was might have been fifteen. It was not expensive at all. Um, I highly recommend it. Buy it if you can find it. If you try to leave comments on your YouTube channel, we appreciate those. We upload all the time. We appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.